I'll introduce the idea of uh, hypnotherapy and of course hypnotherapy in surgery and then let them know, the patient know, that this is a part of my practice um, as it stands here at the Milford Hospital. My job is to make the whole experience more comfortable and to promote accelerated healing. A patient once said to me that their impression of going to the surgeon's office was this gentleman in a, in a white coat standing there with scalpel in hand ready to cut. And I've, I've taken that pretty much to every patient encounter, trying to dispel those myths. So in the consultation, we're discussing the problem as diagnosed or the um, steps to diagnose the potential surgical problem, potential surgery, risks and benefits, etc. And we talk about the procedure, the day of surgery, we talk about anesthesia. Um, and as time has gone on, I've incorporated um, the program as, as part of kind of my presentation or my consultation. A lot of people have started out simply being intrigued by the notion um, and have really gotten into it. Um, and I literally turn them over to Sasha and um, they're changed thereafter. Basically, I use three techniques. One is a breathing technique that's also a light trance, which everybody can use for the rest of their lives. And that is something that people have remarked on even when I see them six and eight months later. I use a, um, a well-tried trance induction that uh, starts out with they're gluing their eyes shut, I mean, in a short form, but it allows them, and in fact, it, 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 it more than allows them, it almost makes it, it almost forces them to go inside. I don't do anything, I just set up something where they go inside, and then I talk to them about their mind-body working through the surgery. And the other thing that I do is to ask them to describe to me where they, what's a place where they felt happy and comfortable and in control. I use the word control. It's very important, I feel, and we feel, that what this partnership gives them is an added sense of control in a situation where they're basically out of control. The beauty of how this has evolved and, and how it's working now is the ease of collaboration. Mm -hmm. One of the things on the day that's very important is that that patient see both Dr. Chambers and I together. And it's best if to see them us together first in the room, the holding room, and then they almost always see us together in the OR because I will stand by the patient's side and then Dr. Chambers comes in. And so again, they see us. And that anchor is something very important. To have Sasha available to help them manage those fears and those anxieties um, is, is just tremendous. I mean, the, I know that my patients who do participate will go into the OR um, just that much more prepared. And I think the key word here has to be empowered. What this partnership gives them is an added sense of control in a situation where they're basically out of control. A young uh, female uh, teenager um, who had a mass in the groin that we had to, to, to excise. And when I met her in the office, she, she sat there wringing her hands and swinging her feet and legs uh, back and forth. And she was clearly nervous, anxious beyond belief. Um, and so we, we finished the consultation with her parents there, um, discussed everything as usual. Um, and of course, they did accept um, the program and, and got Sasha involved as soon as possible. And the next picture I have of her was post-Sasha intervention. In the holding area, she was sitting on in the, in the chair, literally smiling ear to ear and, and wondering, you know, when we were going to go into the operation because she was, she was just ready to go. Um, and I, I'll credit Sasha for all, all of what happened between my visit and, and that visit because it was truly spectacular watching the difference. Afterwards, the patients reported that either they only used a pain med the first night because they were given it and they thought they had to, or they used nothing at all and how well they felt. Matter of fact, there was somebody just recently. Um, and that's, that's very gratifying. They don't know what to expect, but when they say how well they felt and how well it went, and they don't really know exactly why, <laughs> that's great. We've watched the various 
um, steps along the way become tremendously accepting, mm -hmm. um, welcoming, and in certain events have asked for the service to be brought in for a given patient. And and when when I've seen those um, patients or those uh, cases where that had happened, and 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 we flash back to the first few days, it's 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 a really gratifying feeling to be part of something like that. What I think I wanted coming in to practice is now being done um, in my OR, in my hospital, in my community, and and our patients love it, and I think. I think the staff enjoys yeah. being in our room. I really do. I would love to see us be able to translate this model sufficiently to teach other teams to do it because I think we both feel that the team approach is more than twice as as good as anything else. It works. Mm -hmm. It clearly it works. works. And, yeah. and the patients love it. And I think if patients are more satisfied, then all the more reason to continue growing it.